So if you'd like to try out the way kind of cool way of doing this, the uh, shall we say lit way, um, I made a little script that will do the same job in a much more efficient manner. Um, this particular tutorial will not be about how the script was created, however, you're certainly welcome to download the file that I am going to share with you that has the script in it and you can take a look at the script and see how it was um, created. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. First you have to go to the file that has the script. I'm going to be using this URL which I'm glad to share with you and um, I will, if you can't get it from this video I will put it it, it it will be in the blog post that corresponds with this video so if you're watching this on YouTube look in the comments and maybe I'll have a link to the blog post that corresponds with this so I'm just gonna click make a copy and it will go to my drive so this is just how you acquire the document and um, when you get a Google sheet that has a script in it um, it will take a little bit of time at first to load in the actual script and what actually makes the script uh, work. Now you'll notice that while I was stalling and talking that another menu option appeared up here on top and that's the result of the script. So within the script I created another menu option that has only really one option which is called create maps link. So for this we're going to need our column of addresses again. So I'm going to copy and paste those from our previous tutorial. I'm going to take this and then go back. And I can put this in any column I like. I'll go here. I'm going to leave room for the uh, title. Okay, let me uh, make a little section here. Now the way this works is that once you create a column of at any given time when you have an address you can either select it and uh, click the menu option to create the link or you can just do them all at once and then just select and um, do, do it like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this area and I'm going to go here and just click this little option. And uh, you may be asked the first time you use this to give authorization to this. Um, so you'll, you just have to click continue and uh, choose your account and then you'll be fine. Okay, and now you see what happened. You see how it just went through and created links to all those. Now the advantage of this is, uh, well there are two advantages. The first advantage is, is that I don't have to have that extra column here. Uh, I'm sure there's probably a way to do that with the formula formulas the way I did it earlier, but um, I d wasn't was unable to come across a way of attacking that. I'm certainly open if you would like to contact me and you have a way of doing that. I would like that. Another thing you might have noticed is that it took a little time for the links to actually be created. The, you saw them stagger, so it might take a much longer time with a much longer column. I understand that there's a way to do this with a methodology that is involving server side as opposed to client side which is the way mine is scripted however I'm not a hundred percent sure how to do that because I'm not a real Google coder I'm just uh, one who's trying it out so um, but this is what I came up with now if you do download this file again I'll share the link with you you'll just be getting a blank spreadsheet and you can use this uh, anyway anytime you need to put addresses in um, if I click on the second tab here, I did create a list of instructions that tell you how to do it, which is basically what you just saw in this video. Additionally, for those of you with inquiring minds, if you would like to see how this was created, if you go to uh, Tools and to Script Editor, there you will find the code that that created this and if you look down here you'll see that it looks very much like what we like some of the stuff we used in the formula version of um of this tutorial oh i never shared the second advantage second advantage is simple 
You just look a lot cooler doing it this way. By the way, for those of you that are really good coders and you look at my code, uh, chances are you'll find a more efficient way of doing this. Um, I kind of do these things by trial and error and try to get them to the best of my ability. And I'm not always 100% sure of everything I'm doing when I do it. Uh, it's pure experimentation. So if there's a more efficient way of doing this, I'd certainly be glad to hear about it.